what I can and cannot do while living on the cruise ship. I am about ready to answer a lot of your questions that you have been asking me. So number one, I am not allowed to be late to the cruise ship. And my husband, who is staff chief engineer, is not allowed to be late to the cruise ship. No, they will not wait for us. A lot of misinformation all over the internet of will they wait for you or will they not wait for you? So first off, let's address Pete and I. Just because I am staff chief engineer's wife or just because I was the cruise director or just because Pete is staff chief engineer doesn't mean that they're going to wait for us in port. So what would happen if we miss ship? Well, someone else would take over the role. Now, this might vary if a captain were like late to ship. Let's talk, I mean, let's leave it at that. But for any other position on ship, they would give the passport of that person to um, the port agent. And then the port agent would either help you get back to ship or help you get back home. Usually it's back to ship. And then the captain and some other people decide, do you have a job there or not? Now, about 22 years ago, Pete did miss ship. I was in high school, so I, I, I wasn't around for that. <laughs> I have a crazy story of when I almost missed ship, which I'm going to tell you in just a moment. But first, let's talk about you guests miss missing ship. They're not going to wait for you, for you unless you are on an approved tour. I don't care if it's Royal Caribbean, NCL, Holland America Line, whatever it may be. If you have booked a tour with the cruise line and that, crew, that uh, excursion happens to be late, for a multitude of reasons, there could be a block in the road, a flat tire, blah, blah, blah. They will wait for you to get back to ship. I have seen this happen many, many, many times. But if you have just decided to dilly-dally in port or you've done a non-approved tour and your tire goes flat or there is an accident in the road blocking you from getting back to ship, well, it's up to you to get yourself to the next port of call. Now, let's say you're on a tour in Hawaii and it's the last the last port in Hawaii and the next six days are going to be sea days. Well, you might as well just fly yourself straight back to California because you're not going to be able to board that ship. So you've missed six days of your crew All or cruise. Always be back to ship on time. I'll actually tell you my really cool story. <laughs> really scary story at the end of this video. Now, the second thing I'm not allowed to do while on the ship. I am not allowed to film crew or guests just whenever I want to. And also it's not respectful. So off the ship, you might see some guests or that sort of thing in videos. That's a different story. But on the ship, they are enjoying their vacation. I'm not going to be getting a lot of footage of them at the pool um, or, you know, playing bingo or that sort of thing. People ask me all the time, Christine, show us the activities on the ship. Well, it's really hard for me to show you activities on the ship when there are tons of guests in there. And also, if I do get a crew member on a video, I always ask politely, do you mind if I film you? Like if you see someone handing me a Diet Coke, I've already, always already asked, hey, do you mind if I film you? It's something I do and, you know, crew are not allowed to just film whenever they want to. Yeah, I'm not crew, but I, I cruise as service staff. So technically I'm like a crew member. So number three, I've already told you before, I'm not allowed to gamble on the ship. Now I got some comments like, oh, does that mean the, the slot machines are rigged? No, that doesn't mean the slot machines are rigged. Even people that work at a casino can't go gamble at the own at their own casino. Um, it just means it just it just doesn't look right for a crew member to be sitting um, at a slot machine. And I'm really glad that they don't do that because I love playing those games and I love bingo. Um, and so it probably wouldn't be great because I'd be at bingo like all the time. <laughs> So how much do I love bingo? Well, my mom and my best friend, Melissa, they would tell you that I had a bingo addiction when I was in my 20s and I actually asked for a dauber set for Christmas. I'm not joking. My mom got me a dauber set for Christmas because I loved playing bingo. Um, yeah, I, I still love bingo. Before I get to my story about almost missing ship, here is number four. Number four is not something that I'm not allowed to do, but I just don't do it. If there is a medical evac on ship, a medical evacuation. If there is a crew member or a guest that have gone overboard and we've done a search for that, I am not showing you videos of the medical evacuation. I see medical evacuations all the time on a cruise ship, uh, whether it be by boat, we just had one last week, or whether it be by air. Um, it comes down to, we have 20, 
2,800 or 2,600 guests on board plus all the crew members, which is usually like 896 crew members. So there's bound to be someone that'll get sick along the along the way. And so I've seen tons of medical evacu evacuations, but I'm not going to film them out of respect for them and out of respect for their family. Yes, I have known of people that have gone overboard for a multitude of different reasons. No, you can't just fall from a cruise ship unless you are standing on one of the ledges or sitting on a ledge taking a selfie or you've stacked up chairs or that sort of thing. You can't just fall from a cruise ship. But obviously I do know of people that have gone overboard in different circumstances. And no, I don't tell you guys why they went overboard, what the rumor is. Guests would come up to me as a cruise director and say, oh my gosh, what happened to so-and-so last night? And I'd be like, I don't know. They don't let us know. Here on the ship, um, even the medical team, you know, they, they keep all that information very secretive as they should. Last year in Alaska, we had a person went that went overboard and it was a very sad situation. My husband uh, helped out with the um, search of that person, but we don't know why, we, we don't know all of the details. Um, and so as a guest on a ship, please don't walk up to crew members and ask them what happened. I know you're curious because we're just curious by nature, aren't we? We're curious people, but I can guarantee that the crew members probably don't know and out of respect to their colleagues, they probably wouldn't say anything. Okay, now let's talk about when I almost missed the cruise ship. So it was 2012, I was so young and naive. I was brand new to cruise ships and I was working as a port shopping ambassador. What is that? Basically, we do marketing for the companies in port, whether it be St. Thomas, St. Martin, Grand Turk, blah, 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 all those ports. Uh, we market the companies here on the ship. So we tell you where to eat, where to shop, that sort of thing. So here I am in St. Thomas. Again, young, naive, and about 60 pounds lighter. And I was cute. I was cute. Okay. <laughs> and um, so we're in St. Thomas. I'm wearing this cute little sundress. And I'm wearing these Michael Kors platform, um, platform pumps on the like cobbled stone, like rough streets of St. Thomas. Now, if you've ever been to St. Thomas before, you know that you can see the ship from St. Thomas of where the ship is. But even though you can see it, it's usually about like a 30 minute drive because the traffic is so bad in St. Thomas. There were many, many times that I was handing like 20s and 50s, no joke, to the open air taxi driver, um, just saying, please, please, please hurry, 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 try to get us back. Because every single time I thought, oh, I have an hour to get back to ship. Well, those hour, that hour would tick down really, really fast when you're in like jam packed traffic. Um, so it was really scary. Now, working as a port shopping ambassador, I would bring back deliveries to ship. Now, this is something that it's hard for a lot of people to believe, but people buy a lot of jewelry on ship. I'm talking like every seven days, no joke, like $300,000 worth of jewelry um, in, in the Caribbean, Alaska, that sort of thing. And I would always bring back packages. So here I was heading back to ship. And I got like 45 minutes to spare, but we happened to be in a traffic jam and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to miss ship. Now I was with the lady that was training me at the time, uh, Lauren, and we were carrying like literally probably $100,000 of the jewelry back to the ship for deliveries, plus all of the other stuff that I had. And it's downpouring rain. The open, the travel, um, the open air taxi finally gets us back to ship. And no joke, they're getting ready to pull the lines. And it's downpouring rain. Everybody is hanging out of their balconies going, go, 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 go. And I'm yelling, Lauren, Lauren, I can't run any faster because I've never been a runner. And I'm like, she's like, take off your shoes, take off your shoes. And I'm like, I can't because they're like tie up Michael Kors. So I'm trying to run like as fast as I can. Um, I end up dropping my bags, which end up the poor agent comes and picks them up and she gets them. They literally pull me onto the ship, onto the floor, and then pull the gangway. No joke, I am like having a full on panic attack. I'm laying on the ground covered in rain going, am I here, am I here, am I here? And Lauren's like, yes, you're here, you made it, you made it, you made it. It was one of the scariest, most high anxiety moments of my life. I was thinking I was going to miss a ship and we almost did miss a ship. So now I am always back in the vicinity of that cruise ship within an hour, within an hour of that cruise ship taking off because I never want to miss ship. Because what would have happened if I missed ship? Well, I would have either lost my job or I would have had to spend my money, which at the time I was young and I had no money, trying to get myself to the next port. Now let's do a makeup transformation. And just like that, makeup is all done. Now tonight is Sunday night, so it's pizza night with Pete's colleagues and I'll see you there. Bye. Oh, and don't be late to the ship ever.